path of King Ptolemy in ancient Greek and Demotic as well as in the hieroglyphs. The stone, a stele that was used as a building material during the Middle Ages, was captured by the British in 1801 and taken to the British Museum a year later, where it remains to this day. Dead Sea Scrolls This colony debate over who wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls rumbles on to this day the Dead Sea Scrolls are almost 1,000 biblical manuscripts discovered in the decade after World War II in what is now the West Bank. The texts, mostly written on parchment but also on papyrus and bronze, are the earliest surviving copies of biblical and extra-biblical documents known to be in existence, dating over a 700-year period around the birth of Jesus. The ancient Jewish sect the Essenes is supposed to have authored the scroll, written in Hebrew, Aramaic and Greek, although no conclusive proof has been found to this effect. Pompeii, plaster casts made of the victims of Pompeii the Roman towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum were buried under tons of pumice and volcanic ash when the volcano Vesuvius erupted in C79. In the mid-18th century the towns were discovered and artwork and mosaics were removed to nearby Naples. It was not until the following century that the true wonder of Pompeii emerged. However, when plaster casts were used to show the exact form of people, sheltering from what would later be known as a pyroclastic flow, a phenomenon not properly documented or understood until the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Cave of Altamira, Altamira the drawings at Altamira changed, the way we think about our ancestors the discovery of a cave, west of Santander in Cantabria, Spain, in 1880, named Altamira because of it. High views, would ultimately change the way in which prehistoric, human beings were perceived. The upper Paleolithic cave paintings, caused a bitter dispute among archaeologists until the early 20th century, when it was finally accepted that our distant ancestors were capable of producing any kind of artistic expression. Tutankhamun The Golden Funeral Mask of Tutankhamun at the British Museum ask a child to name an ancient Egyptian ruler and they will either say Cleopatra or Tutankhamun. The reason for this is the excavation of the Ladley tomb by Howard Carter in 1922 in the Valley of the King. Such was the wealth of treasures and objects in the tomb, and Carter, F. meticulousness, it took eight years to empty the tomb and transport its contents to Cairo. North of the Minoan civilization is thought to have been destroyed by natural disasters. It is not often that archaeological digs can provide evidence for an entirely new civilization. But that was exactly the result of work by Cretan antiquarian Minas Kolokarinos and his British counterpart Arthur Evans at the end of the 19th century. They unearthed the palace at Gnosis, supposedly the site of the Minotaur, as labyrinth from Greek myth. Old Ufi Gorge Great Rift Valley The Great Rift Valley? The Cradle of Humanity Old Ufi Gorge is a 30-mile section of the Great Rift Valley in Tanzania that ranks as one of, if not the most, important paleontological sites in the world. The site has been excavated since just prior to World War I, and when work recommenced when hostilities ended, it was found that our ancestors had occupied the site almost continually from 1.9 million years ago. Megalithic Temple of Hagar Kim. When you think of the oldest buildings in the world, your mind may immediately go to the pyramids, or maybe Stonehenge, but in fact the megalithic temples of Malta are the oldest freestanding structures on the planet. Hagar Kim and four other Maltese megalithic structures date back to between 3600 and 3200 BC. They were first excavated and explored in the mid-19th century. Terracotta Army of Sai? And the Terracotta Army in Sai? And the funerary army of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, dating to the 3rd century BC was discovered by a group of farmers in Sai? And in 1974, more than 8,000 life-sized soldiers, 130 chariots and 150 separate horses, not to mention countless officials and courtesans have since been documented, although the majority remain buried underground near the emperor's mausoleum. 
It remains one of the most spectacular man-made sites in the world. Staffordshire Hoard. The Staffordshire Hoard has been bought by museums and midlands. The largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon precious metalwork was found just four years ago in a field near Litchfield, in Staffordshire. More than 3,500 martial items made from gold or silver dated back to the Kingdom of Mercia in the 7th and 8th centuries were excavated, with experts describing the hoard as of equal or more importance than the sudden who discoveries. 